hello so the time is 7 45 in the morning and it is monday morning and it is breakfast time so i have cut oh yeah obviously i forgot to say <laughs> monday morning and my brain's not in gear i'm doing a what i ate in a day video because loads of people are doing them at the minute and i'm really enjoying watching them and i'll be curious to know what kind of like i eat in a day looks like so anyway um it's breakfast time so i've got half a cup of porridge oats in there and all I'm going to do so there's one half a cup of porridge oats and now I'm going to add three half a cups of water and it's surprising how creamy and nice it actually goes so I will show you as we go so I've just put the water in and now what you want to do it takes quite a while this porridge by the way 10 to 15 minutes use a wooden spoon but use the long end of it you just want to start stirring it, get all the oats turned around and covered. So at this point, you want to get this boil until it is boiling. Right, so we are at the bubbling point and it's all gone a bit more thicker and plumped up. By the way, I'm sure you'll really know it's by I've got a sore throat. So now we just turn it down and let it do its thing for about, I'm going to put the timer on for 10 minutes and then it'll have to. So now it's at this point, I'm bubbling away nicely, I'm going to add some bananas in because I love the way a hot, gooey, mushy banana tastes. <laughs> right, put them in, stir, stir, stir. So it's in my bowl, I'm going to, well not decorate, have with it some flaxseed, some raisins and some cinnamon and my banana. And we are done. I need to go eat this now. It looks so good. Can, can you see as well how fluffy the porridge is? Oh, so good. I need to go eat this now because time is not on my side. I will see you at dinner time. Ten to one and it's dinner time. So today it is very nice seeded brown bread which is going to be toasted with some spinach and we are making poached eggs right we have toast and spinach we have boiling water turn it right down i've got my eggy weggies i'm gonna plop them in and it's three minutes from now one, one two three away they go they are gone cut good it's a poached are you ready for the moment i hope it's plumbing good Ooh, ooh, ooh! camera's fucking up that is a good egg, people. Yes, I'm going to eat this now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, that was so good. You know, when you eat something and you're like, I want to eat that again. That was one of those meals. Oh, so nice. I'm going to do some baking now, I think. Anyway, I shall see you with whatever I decide to eat next. Oh, my God, my voice. I'm so sorry. I it's really quite annoying. I wanted to film this video today. I've just got a really sore throat. <laughs> Hello, <coughs> it's snack time. So basically, I've got a frozen banana that I've just blended and it goes like this lovely yogurty, ice creamy consistency. And I've sprinkled some cinnamon on and crushed some walnuts. And this is a great combo, so I'm having that now. So I made these delicious little Ellis scones this afternoon. They're everything usual, free dairy, um, refined sugar, um, gluten free I've got some bigger ones they look really nice I've got blueberries and raspberries in and then I've got my homemade jam on them which is um, chia seeds, raspberries strawberries and some water and some fresh lemon juice so I'm going to have my scone right about now I just wanted to add them scones that I made <laughs> I said I ate one, which I did eat one with jam, but then I also ate 2.5 without jam, so I've eaten three and a half scones. I can't start munching on them, they're actually so nice. Anyway, that's just a little extra. Now, it is 6.15 and I am underway with tea, which I will show you what I have in a sec. So there's a slight chance I might have just sloshed way too much gravy on, but basically for my tea, I've got roast beef, Yorkshire pudding which is made from gluten free flour and almond milk and same measurements, same routine except they're all good for me to have uh, mashed potato, peas, 
and obviously gravy, like a lot of gravy. Um, also, I would usually have carrots, but we've run out of a carrot. It's shopping day tomorrow, so no carrots, but still, this is pretty good for me. The last item of the day, the really nice toast with some jam on it. So that, my friends, concludes the what I ate in a day video. Um, let me know, do, did you, do you ever eat any of the combinations of the things I eat or do you do your porridge differently or um, what sort of things do you eat? I never, I didn't try to change anything for the video. I literally, what I usually sort of eat, I kind of just ate, basically. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Shall I do any more of these? Do you find them interesting? I think I probably will because I find them interesting. I like to reflect on what I eat and how much I eat and all that sort of thing. So, God, I'm so out of breath. I've just walked upstairs. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.